Thank you, Ian. He told her he was a cop, that she had federal warrants, and that she needed to pay. No surprise, none of it's true. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has the audio from some of those threatening phone calls. She joins us now live from the Newsplex. Tim, the caller not only said he was an officer to the female victim, he told police he was an investigator. Real police officers say what he's been doing could be part of a scam. An unsuspecting woman got a frightening message Friday, a voicemail left on her phone. This is Officer Michael Brandon from Roswell Police Department. We have received a federal dispute from Federal Claims Court. That is an arrest warrant issued on your name. The caller claims he's a cop. When the woman he called called back, the person on the other end of the line had all her information, her social security number and date of birth. Told her that there was no court that she needed to go to, nothing more than go to Walmart, buy a prepaid credit card, either Visa or MasterCard, call them back within the hour. He demanded hundreds of dollars for outstanding warrants. Panicked, the woman went to the Roswell police station. A lot of people don't really think about it and they think, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. The first thing they want to do is get themselves out of trouble. But officers knew right away it was a scam. There is a federal dispute. There is an arrest warrant against your social security number. Aside from the fact that there are no officers named Michael Brandon in Roswell. We're probably going to show up at your house if you have a warrant. You know, it's not going to be we're going to call you. That's just not standard procedure. And if you call in asking if you have a warrant, we're also not going to tell you that over the phone. We called the number the man left in the voicemail. I'm trying to get a hold of Officer Michael Brandon and got no response. Police say when the woman went to make the report, she got at least 10 more phone calls from the person while in the lobby. And when Officer O'Brien picked up, identified herself as an officer, she told him to stop calling, that she'd get a warrant for his arrest. He just said, oh, I'd like to see you try, um, you know, please do so and that kind of stuff. He was not afraid of us at all. Um, and that's scary. Police say they don't know how this person got the woman's personal information, but said it could have been from purchases she had made online. Officers also said the caller's phone number showed up in a search as a scam in several states. Back to you. Thank you, Gabrielle. Police say if the suspect is caught, it would likely be a federal investigation. He could face fraud and harassment.